Aberlite Go 2, aka the Aberlite Pro, whoop whoop, cordless is here. It is out, it is available for purchase as of yesterday at the time of this video dropping. You guys know I gotta schedule, I gotta stick to my review Fridays, but nonetheless, it is available and I genuinely believe this is the greatest heated brush slash beard straightener that has ever been created and I would love to tell you guys all about it. But to start this, we gotta go back in time for a little bit of story. I believe it was August 2019 where I had the honor of helping launch the Aberlite Pro. Now I say that's an honor because it really was a revolutionary tool. Aberlite designed it from the ground up and they did this by taking in feedback from all sorts of beardsmen, myself included. But they wanted to hear from every shape, size, color, texture of beards to know what they wanted in a heated brush. They said, hey, with everything that's out on the market, what do you wish was different? What do you wanna get out of it that you're not? And they took that information and they made an amazing tool. And, and that was, again, almost three years ago, but I had a prototype before then, and then I had the final version to test, and then I did the review. I used that heated brush almost every single day for over three years. The only exceptions were when I, were when I was testing heated brushes for a review, then when the review was over, I went back to my tried and true, my favorite, and it still runs perfectly today. So I'm not saying if you have an Aberlite Pro that you need to upgrade, right? You don't need to do the, the cell phone game where, oh, there's a new cell phone with a couple more megapixels, I gotta get it. No, no, if you have the Aberlite Pro and it's working great and you like the corded version, keep it. It's a wonderful tool. This does not take away from that at all. However, if you don't have that, or you really want a wireless version, a cordless version, listen up, this really could be for you. And I will be honest, I was a little bit apprehensive to try this because I loved my Pro so much, and I really liked the cord. My favorite aspect about a cord is that it's reliable. I don't have to think about it, I plug it in and I use it. I've had wireless heated brushes before, but they would go dead so quickly. They would take forever to heat up. The heat wasn't always consistent and wasn't always that powerful because it takes a lot of energy to produce heat. Let me hit you with something there. You might be like, whoa, you can prove that it takes a lot of energy for heat because you don't usually see any cordless or wireless hair dryers. Wow, he's right, yeah, yeah, it's very rare. And if you do, it's oftentimes not a quality one because that amount of heat that they need to produce takes a lot of energy. So to get this where it's at now, it took so much work and I am thoroughly impressed. Now let me give you some of the details here. As compared to the Go 1, the predecessor of this one, which I was not a big fan of, I really only liked the Aberlite Pro, the Go 1, this has twice as long of a battery life. 100% better battery life with this as compared to the first. They say it gives you about 30 minutes of battery life. I got at least that. That seems like a really generous, like a generously fair estimate. I would get around five uses of this and I would heat it up, right? Get my shirt on, all that stuff, get dressed. And then I would go to use the heated brush. So I didn't even use it for every second that it was fully, fully up to heat, right? So that's amazing. It also heats up way faster than the Go 1 or any other wireless one I've ever used. That's awesome. The heat is consistent and pure. That's amazing. Now, when you take a look at this, if you guys are familiar with the Pro, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's got like the same teeth and everything on there, I like that. It actually has even more heating mechanisms inside of this. I, if I remember correctly, the number was like 26% more powerful. And it just does work a little bit better. Now, I have the Pro, I have this one, at the end of this review, I will be keeping this one as my daily use. I have the Pro, I'm not giving it to anybody, I'm not getting rid of it, it still runs absolutely amazing. Over three years later, with what, close to a thousand uses on it, if not more than that, that's remarkable. I just really dig this one. And it has all the things that you loved about the Pro, right? The outside has those little skin guards where this does not get hot. You can push this right against your cheeks and not worry about it. I actually tried a heated brush from a really well-known like hair dryer and barber company, and it wasn't designed for beards, to their credit. I wasn't thinking, and I went to use it on my mustache first, I literally burned my lip. Like I heard that and it hurt and took a couple of weeks to recover. 
they didn't have any kind of skin protection on it. Now, again, it wasn't designed for beards. That's kind of on me. I should have read it. I should have realized it. I was just so used to using one like this that it really caught me off guard, and I will never use that one again. I don't recommend anybody else using that one, but this one is going to protect you. It's going to be great. Now, a couple of other things. All you do to start this bad boy is just hold it down for three seconds. You see the heat going there. You click it to change the heat. I don't recommend anyone go above 360 degrees. I usually stick between 320 and 360. If it's something that's just giving me a tough time, I can go up to 360. If not, I try to stay down around 320. Cool thing here on that little digital screen, you can see it heat up in real time and it starts to go right here. You got that little blue light on the other side to remind you. It's got a good, nice grip. It is decently big, uh, but I've never thought that this was too big. It's got good weight to it, but I've never thought that it was too heavy. And, oh yeah, feature I didn't even think about that is really nice and convenient, you guys. The charging port is a USB-C. So you probably already have this cord and this setup to just plug it in. That's awesome. Let me go over the unboxing real quick that will cover up the last details as we get going. Really pleasant unboxing experience. It's got that nice fitting box that we see from like cell phone uh, packages and stuff. Really good. Something that I thought was really nice is their manual is just this one piece here and they give you a QR code to scan to read all of the information. I think this is the way we are going. I know some people disagree with me and that's okay. I, I respect that as well. But if we can save some paper and just use our phone like we do anyway, that's a brilliant idea. So right away comes in, has this little phone protection. And then inside of here, you have a charging base, which is really nice. It has that same kind of material, that matte material as the, the handle. That's really cool. Gives you the cord, beautiful and as a nice little travel bag. I don't actually use the travel bag myself. I just throw it in my luggage. I just got back from a barber expo and this is what I brought on the trip. Uh, so yeah, awesome unboxing, great experience there. Got everything that you need. Now, I think I covered all the main details on this one. Above that, the price of this is $150. I don't have any discount codes with them. That is expensive. I fully am aware of how much that is. For me, it is worth every penny. Now, worth is very personal with the situation, right? If you're someone that it's money's really tight, $150 is out of your league or something that you got to really contemplate, I totally understand. I don't think this is going anywhere. I think it's going to be around for a very long time. Uh, and again, I don't say that lightly, but for me, I used my pro every day for over three years with a few exceptions in there. Got to put that out there. And you break it down for how much that cost me per day. If you use this every day for three years and you think about per day, how many cents that is, right? Just a little bit of perspective. I'm not trying to, con I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm just trying to convey the information. It genuinely is amazing. Now, a slight small kind of announcement here. As I said, I don't have a discount code. I also have never been an affiliate with this company. Even with the Everlight Pro is the only heated brush I've really recommended in the last three years. I didn't make a penny from them. I am pleasantly surprised, pleasantly happy to announce I am an affiliate with Aberlite now. So if you use my link, I do get a kickback. I do get a commission on sales, but you guys can go back and see my track record of three years now where I've recommended this company over and over and over again. We haven't even always seen eye to eye in certain aspects. I don't even love any of their products outside of the pro, right? They have some ones that I'm curious about and want to explore but I wholeheartedly recommend this. I don't even care if you guys don't want to use the link, please don't go directly to their website, right? I don't even have a discount. There's not even a huge benefit for you guys to do that, but I want to make sure I have full disclosure, I'm not trying to hide a link or be anything like that. This is an affiliate and I am so happy to announce that. So questions, what are you wondering? Is there something I missed? Is there something that you want to ask? I will answer it. I promise beyond that, Share your experience specifically with the Aberlite Pro and then share your experience with what you think this is going to do for you. Are you not a cordless guy? Are you so excited for the cordless? I want to hear your guys' perspective and I would love to answer your questions down below. Thank you guys for watching. I think this is going to help out a lot of people's beards and I can't wait to see the results. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up on the video and please, again, stay bearded and stay positive.